Hey, welcome to Roar. Today Hi. we're doing pottery. Hi, I'm Kerry of Kerry White Studios. I run a ceramic studio in Perth. I specialised in ceramics at art college and I decided to, to just do that because that, that was interesting. I've just really gone from studio to studio. I haven't really knuckled down to any sort of proper job. This is what I'm doing forever and that's it. You're just playing with mud pies. What you did as a kid is just this glorified aspect of that. The first thing I had to learn was centering, which is exactly what it says on the tin. I had to get the clay nice and central and even on the wheel. Sounds easy, right? First of all, the centering is the, the easiest thing to center is something that's already quite far into the center of the <laughs> <Yeah. middle. laughs> Okay. So if you wet your hands, mm -hmm. get them properly wet, like really wet, that's it. Yeah, right up to there. Yeah. So you want your elbow tucked in so that it feels quite strong. And this is going to be... Mm -hmm your sort of guiding hand and everything you do is going to sort of push against it. Okay. Full speed ahead. Full speed. Yeah. Oh. Get this hand yeah. and press in and just sort of press in and scoop up. <laughs> You'll feel the benefits of keeping that hand as steady as possible. So if that hand is steady yeah. and this hand is pushing against oh, okay. it and it's not easy. Oh. So you're doing a bit of stroking. Yeah. And again, just like pinch in and guide. You're just um, almost. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. It wants to do that. There we go. <laughs> right. Okay. Time to push down before it gets out of control. So push hard. That's it. <laughs> yeah. It's a tricky bit. <laughs> Go on, take your hands away, let's see what you've done, babe. <laughs> what you've done for that piece of clay. I tried. It was going so well. It was going great. <laughs> it just went awry. I think I just shoved it down <laughs> at an angle. And then it was like, oh. Look at it. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try and wrestle this into submission. You don't need super strength or anything like that, but it can be tiring after you've done quite a lot of pots and pointing. So you can see from me doing that, I'm just sort of bringing that inside to the outside and just sort of squeezing it. So this is what centric clay is meant to look like. <laughs> I think total resilience is definitely one of the main things about pottery and also, you know, a sanguine attitude to dropping things and smashing them. I have been walking along the road with a trolley full of stuff, which wasn't mine, it was my boss's. I was working for a pottery and I went down the curb having overlaid in my trolley and I watched them slowly smash in slow motion onto the pavement with the cars. It's just, you know, that. <laughs> After the clay was centered, I took my first shot at throwing a cylinder. This is what it's meant to look like. So what I want you to do is sort of flatten the top of this to give you a nice, if you use that part of your hand, yeah, and push down really hard. Oh no, you don't have to move out, you're just like, this is, uh, this is where you learn how it, the clay, the yeah, okay, the it, force does it. Because yeah. the, the spin's going to do it for me. Yeah. It is. Right, that's fine. Yeah. It's going to wee bit off. Okay, you'll have a slightly wobbly pot, but then that's, you know, this is the first go. Right, so now you're going to dig down. Some people use two fingers like that, and just, you want to push straight down. You don't want to sort of go like this, or like that. You want to push straight down. I'll try this. Okay. Like that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what happens when you don't keep your hands steady. <laughs> wow. You know, it's, gonna, it's a lovely ashtray. So really hang on to that hand. Okay. Right. That's it. Just go straight down as hard as you can, but not all the way to the bottom. Now you're going to pull out and you're going to pull really firmly towards you in a completely straight line. Like this? Like... Mm -hmm. That's it. So that is the base of your pot. Smooth it, just give it a good smooth. Again using, yeah, that's yeah, it. So it you still. just keep, your, you're still and the wheel's the thing that moves. With that hand, you're coming into the inside of the pot now. There. No, nope, here where my finger is. Oh, right there. Nope, like that. Taking the clay from the bottom. Oh, I'm moving it up. And lifting it up. But that's you making a bowl. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh... For the moment, what you can do is just pinch the clay between you and just hold the sponge firmly to it. So that's a supporting thing that you're doing with the pinch fingers. That's 
Okay, okay, stop, stop. <laughs> I made it a little bit more water. Well, that's fine. It's, it's you know, Smaller. it's a pasta bowl now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you spin, again, about halfway, and just touch it in and pull away. Try that, just a little bit in. So, oh God. Yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> I've just scarred it. <laughs> Do you know that's it's pretty good. It's pretty an accident, good. but it's it's uh, nice. But do you know what? If we let it dry for a day and just trim the back, you would have a decent platter that you could actually eat off. Yeah. Well done. That's exactly what I meant to do. Let's not say anything about the cylinder that we were supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a thing. Then I had to get my masterpiece off the wheel. What you want to do is quite it's quite tricky because it's difficult not to gouge a piece out with your thumbs as you go through. This is where a bit of dexterity also comes in. And you have to really hold it firm. I mean, I have it around one finger and like that. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so, so absolutely keeping firm. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, beautiful. Yes, yes. I feel like this is definitely a work of art. This side especially, this little hump. I think anyone can learn to throw a decent pot. So if you follow the steps and you understand the principles, I think, you know, a couple of days of throwing and you'll have some, you know, perfectly acceptable, lovely cylinders. I was determined to make an actual cylinder shape. So I gave it another go, with a little help from Kerry. How's that? I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good, isn't it? I'm pleased with that. Yeah. Look, we could put a little cactus in that. Yeah. After we threw the pots, they had to be fired in the kiln before the next stage. So I took the opportunity to go and check out an exhibition that Kerry had done with fellow Perthshire artists, jewellery maker Roberta Pedazzoli and painter Susan Hutchison. A week later, I was back to apply the glaze and ask a few more silly questions. Uh, what is the weirdest thing that you've ever had to make? Um, I have been asked to make a toilet brush holder and obviously I said no. <laughs> no. What do you take me for? Go to B&Q or whatever. And other than that, I generally know when to say no. <laughs> The cylinder was going to have a simple dipped glaze in a cream colour. Can you take it? Yeah. It, might be, it might feel really awkward and just swirl it around as best you can so the whole thing's... Right. There you go. Okay. Alright. That's it. That's it. Just hold it under for a few moments <laughs> and then lift it out and empty it as you go. Mm -hmm. Carefully open them without scraping them all the way up there. Oh god, no, I kind of did. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's cool. Then I used two different types of green glaze for my plate cylinder thing. Now it doesn't look very green while I'm painting it on, but apparently it will turn a beautiful shade of green once it's fired in the kiln. Got to get it in all the Yay. little holes that I have <laughs> Um, scumble it in and then smooth it off later, yeah. Scumble? What a scumble, word. yeah. And lastly, it was time to mark my beautiful pieces of art with my signature on the bottom before they went in the kiln again. A few days later, I was back to pick up my creations and see how they turned out. I especially love the attention to detail on all the textures.
In all seriousness, although the pots are a little scrappy and a little heavy handed, they are definitely usable and it was loads of fun to make them. And I could see that with a bit of practice, most people could get the hang of it. Plus, it was definitely relaxing to be sitting there with the pottery wheel and the sun streaming through the window and the birds chirping. I totally understand why you would want the lifestyle of a potter. Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. Once again, big thanks to my patrons. Hey, thank you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, these videos would not happen and I'm having so much fun making them. And I'm actually really excited because I have a whole French series coming out soon, which is gonna be great. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.